Hello children and welcome back to the online classes. Now today we are going to talk about a new story, a very interesting one rather, that is Madam Rides the Bus, written by R.S. Krishnaswamy, also known by the pseudonym Valikanu. Now before we get started, let us go through a short introduction of the author. Krishna Swami was born on 12th November 1920 in Rajawalipuram, Tirunavalli. Now he was a Tamil writer, journalist, critic and translator. He started writing at a very young age and published 25 books by the time he was 30. He also worked for magazines like Cinema Ulugam, Navashakti etc. In 1978, he was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award for Tamil for his critical work on modern Tamil poetry. He passed away in 2006. Now that's all about the author. Let us now move into the story. The story begins with the 8-year-old girl Waliyamai, fondly known as Wali. She is the main character of the story. Now, Wali doesn't have friends to play with, so she prefers observing the street from her front door rather than playing with the children of her age. Among all the things she observes, she is particularly interested in a bus. The bus travels between the village and the nearest town. She desperately longs for a visit to the town, just like the other passengers who passed by. Often, one of her friends would ride the bus and describe the sights which they see on the way. She started listening to the conversations between her neighbors who frequently traveled by bus and in the process would ask a careful questions here and there to collect more information. Just like this, she learns that the town is 6 miles away from her village and it took the bus 45 minutes to travel one side. Now the bus would start at 1 o'clock from a stop, reach the town at 1.45 pm, then start at 2 from there and reach her village at 2.45 pm. One sided fare was 30 paise making it 60 for a back and forth ride. Therefore, she started planning and replanning so that she could sneak out during her mother's afternoon nap and come back without her knowing anything. She needed the, to save the money which was not easy as she had to resist the temptation of candy, peppermints and merry-go-round. Finally, she saved enough money and one fine day the brave 8-year-old girl took the bus during its not very busy hours. She refused to take any help from the conductor or the fellow passengers. It was an amusing sight for everyone to see such a small girl all alone acting like an adult. The conductor was of a humorous kind of and thus referred to Wally as a grown-up madam. And all the passengers in the bus would start laughing. Wally would soon get busy in admiring the interiors of the bus and the scenery outside. Short-heighted Wally would stand up on her seat to be able to see clearly from the window while everyone advised her to sit for her own safety. Each time someone would poke their nose in her business, Wally would get annoyed as she did not consider herself a child. A concerned passenger asked her to sit down and she uh, as he was afraid that she might hurt herself. She says that she is not a child as she has paid for the bus fare just like the adults. She did not even want to be friends with an elderly lady who was worried about her because she thought she was not socially capable enough as she looked ugly with big earlobes. Right? The thrill of her first ride is expressed in how she observes the motion of the bus. The bus rolled on, now cutting across a bare landscape, rushing through a tiny hamlet, hamlet means a village, or past an odd wayside shop, 
sometimes the bus seemed on the the bus seemed on the point of gobbling up another vehicle that was coming towards them or a pedestrian crossing the road suddenly the bus encounters a disturbed cow running wildly in the middle of the road being too young the girl fails to understand the cow's pain and laughs uncontrollably at the funny sight the bus finally moves into the town valley is filled with wonder at the abundance of glittering merchandise and people she sees across upon reaching the town she refused to get down the bus because she was too afraid to do so alone the conductor offers to buy valley a cold drink noticing her reluctance to explore the place but she refuses to drink as she has no money to pay for it thus valley proves her integrity over here on the way back home she is just interested as the sight just as before however soon she has her first encounter with death which greatly dampens her spirit the cow which had been galloping on the road has met with a accident it now lies dead on the road the ghastly sight fills her with terror and she loses her interest in the scenery outside she however regains her spirit by the time she reaches back to her village in the afternoon she she bids a friendly goodbye to the conductor who invites her for another ride whenever she wishes back home she overhears her mother's conversation with an aunt the words spoken by her mother are symbolic in the sense that vali can connect it with her recent adventure her mother says that it is not possible to know everything that happens around us moreover knowledge alone does not guarantee understanding vali smiles at the knowledge that her mother will never discover it's her secret her aunt then referred to vali as a no spoken child who acts like a grown up lady but only vali knew what she was referring to because after all no one knew about her bus journey so with this children we have come to the end of our lesson i hope you understood it go through the chapter once again read it thoroughly in your book and try to understand it